Fresno State. Fresno State. Fresno State. Fresno State. Fresno State is celebrating its first national title. Ground ball. May 25th, 1998, the day the Bulldogs are finally crowned national champs. It was something that Coach Wright really prepared us for. And um, she told us if we got there, that we would win. And um, the year before, we got so close. So getting back there and being in the position to be in the final game um, and be able to share the moment with my teammates was, was honestly the best moment of my life. Every athlete on that team, every athlete before, every athlete since, should be walking around with such a sense of pride that, you know, this school is just as good as anyone else. Well, it means that a, a California State School can do it. It means that an underdog could still do it. Line to right, Dick Myler has got it. Cinderella wins a national championship. No team in the history of the NCAA in any sport has ever been seated this low and won a national championship. Fresno State rewrites history tonight in Omaha. Oh, it was awesome. I mean, every player dreams of going to Omaha. The crowds there were unreal. The second ball game came out and had to battle and grind and, and got a victory. And then that third game, um, it was pretty much just an outstanding performance by, by Justin Wilson and, and our right fielder, Steven Detweiler. People say, I saw it in his eyes. I, I don't even know what that means or what it meant. But about the third or fourth inning, uh, I remember Justin Wilson was walking off the field after a strikeout. I saw it in his eyes. Whatever that is, I saw it. And at that point, I started thinking, that this is going to happen. This is really going to happen. We took down a Pac-12 school in the University of Arizona who has multiple championships. And we were that underdog. Scott's pitch looped in the left center. Becky Witt is there. You have to be willing to take that chance, to take the extra hour of batting practice, to you know, do all the things that no one else is doing so that you always have the edge. And the Bulldogs have a one-nothing lead. I think a Bulldog is who I am. Um, fight, continuous fight. Um, when people tell me I can't do something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Tell me what I can't do and I'm going to tell you what I can do. And I think Coach Wright and this university taught us that. You know, people still come up and want to talk about it, where they were that day, um, what they were eating, you know, where they were sitting. Uh, it's, it's memorable for a lot of people. It was big. That whole time was, was really big. Um, the parade after that was, uh, was out of control, um, but it was a lot of fun. The, the thought never crossed my mind that that was going to be there for us. And, that really spoke volumes of, of what it meant to everybody here in Fresno. I have never seen so many people to welcome our team home. I didn't know there were that many people in Fresno. I would just say thank you because I don't think we would have done what we did without the Valley and the fans. You know, that's, that's what you play for. You played it to make people proud. You make people smile. Um, and I think now, 20 years later, I think that's priceless.